enjoyed the first Alice on the Trail video. If you haven't seen the first one, I recommend watching it to hear about Jude Hall, the first generation of the Hall family, when talking about Moses Urea Hall, who is his grandfather. In this video, we're going to start talking about George Hall and his son Moses Urea Hall, the first African American student to attend Phillips Exeter Academy. George Hall was a stonesman who lived in Exeter with his wife and eight children. He lived in poverty, but the town of Exeter aided him so that his children could go to school. He received the Kate Holland Fund, a charity founded in 1836 by Catherine Merrill, whose mother was a widow to a Revolutionary War African-American hero. But George sent his son Moses to Phillips Exeter Academy in 1858, the school we're walking around right now on the trail also the school that I attend as a senior this year. Moses later went on to serve in the Civil War in Company C, the 3rd U.S. Colored Infantry. When Moses returned from war, he brought his family back to Epping, which is where I'm standing now in Prospect Cemetery in Epping, New Hampshire. He brought his um, wife, Eliza, and his seven children. Six of those seven children went to school, but the oldest one, Joseph, did not go to school. And Moses, along with his, or as well as his father, George, became a stonesman. He paved Pleasant Street, built a wall on Prescott Road, and built a home on Water Street in Epping, New Hampshire, and Exeter, New Hampshire. Thank you so much for joining me on the trail, and don't forget to register on our site for our tea talks that we have every year. This year they will be over Zoom, and the theme is Blacks in White Spaces.